Happy Palm Sunday. Today we're celebrating the beginning of Holy Week, although at the same time, it can be hard for us to understand how we're going to live this Holy Week. For me, I think of the last six years that I've been able to participate in missions in Miramundo, one of the highest spots in El Salvador, and I'm definitely going to miss that experience. For all of us, it's going to be a different type of Holy Week. My thoughts and prayers go out, very especially to the people of El Centro and Las Pilas, where I was able to begin my priestly ministry during Holy Week, and where I learned so much, where I experienced so much. My thoughts and prayers go out to the missionaries that I was able to accompany during the course of these years, and with whom I formed as well a very special spirit of family and a very intense living of Holy Week. This year, we won't have processions. Many of you will not be able to even have Mass. And I think that in some way this connects us to the first people who lived Holy Week. We can think today that we're celebrating the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. We can perhaps have grown a little bit accustomed to everything that we celebrate during Holy Week. We get our plans for the different masses and celebrations from our parish and we just kind of show up and we're used to it and okay well Sunday, Palm Sunday is kind of there's the giveaway of the palm branches and we get blessed with holy water and time goes on but it's almost like a, a set play in which I'm playing a part. And for those who were in Jerusalem it was a surprise when Jesus came in. And you know, what's going on? Why is Jesus riding this donkey into Jerusalem? And they were having to slowly digest everything that was going on. So for us during this Holy Week, where maybe some things are a lot different than what we would have expected and what we would have wanted, I think we as well can be drawn into the mystery of Christ who's coming to sacrifice himself for us. Even though many of you will not be able to receive communion during this time, perhaps, you can nevertheless be very present in the sacrifice of Christ. We as priests will be remember the sacrifice very especially through the, the Holy Mass, but all of us can be united to Christ. Hosanna, Son of David, that same cry that rose from the throats of the men and women of Jerusalem should rise from our hearts today. Stay healthy, stay safe, and God bless.